The diagnosis of breast cancer is no longer a hopeless situation. This morning, News 13's Victoria Dunkel is streaming live from the Breast Center at Party Hospital. Victoria, what's changing to give women a reason for hope? Well, you know, Jay and Holly, it really starts with the ability to spot the cancer so much earlier in the whole process. Women are more aware of keeping their breast health in mind. And then there's technology like Dr. Ken Shelton works with, with the mammograms. And there's a, an ability for you all to see breast tissue like you haven't seen in many years past. Where do we stand on being able to spot unusual cells early? Well, digital mammography is a, a wonderful way to look at uh, the breast, and it's more comfortable to the uh, women. Uh, it's also more specific in uh, what uh, pathology is. Um, abnormalities that show up here can be shown at the earliest possible time uh, so that uh, we can intervene in an appropriate fashion. When you're looking at one of these, what are you looking for? I mean, it all looks foreign, if you will, to us, but what are you looking for that makes you go, hmm, something doesn't quite mesh? Sure. Uh, it's an abnormal density. Uh, it's an abnormal collection of microcalcifications, small little fine calcium deposits uh, that are all indications. Those are the major findings we look for and uh, then that can uh, spur the interest in other evaluations such as ultrasound or if necessary MRIs. And when you're looking at these can, can you point to something that would be like I mean is it a more of a white pronounced area? Exactly just a, an area of increased density which is the basis of uh, most of the cancers that we're concerned about because uh, they cause an abnormal collection of cells that uh, scars the adjacent tissue causes retractions and stuff like that. A much better vantage point for us to be able to have a much better decision-making process when it comes to our breast health. Coming up in our next half hour, we're going to show you what happens and where we go from here. If something shows up unusual on a mammogram, the next step and beyond, and what people right here in, women right here in the mountains are able to access when it comes to the front line in fighting breast cancer. Reporting live in Hendersonville, Victoria Dunkel, News 13. Nearly every day we hear about new breakthroughs in treating breast cancer. And News 13's Victoria Dunkel is streaming live from the Breast Center at Party Hospital. And Victoria, that's where some of that research really plays in on a daily basis, right? It really does. In fact, right now, this center is being uh, is involved in several different trials involving chemotherapy and other approaches to treating breast cancer. But it all starts with really having a good grasp and understanding of your breast health. And that's where Linda Bryson comes in. When women come in for their regular screenings with their mammography, you're the person they see. But a lot of people have some misconceptions about what that's about. So how do you alleviate some of the fears? Uh, with uh, digital mammography, it has become a much more comfortable exam for ladies. Their largest fear is that it's going to hurt. Mm -hmm. They've heard stories about how painful it is. But with the technology now, digital has made it much more comfortable for oh, ladies and also less radiation. And we get incredibly detailed pictures. And this is just kind of an idea. You use your hand to give the women an idea that this is not going to be an extreme situation. Yes. Not as bad as it used to be. And it's definitely worth it for the peace of mind that comes. But if for some reason you do have a mammography that comes back with some questionable elements, you under the same uh, guise here, under the same, uh, if you will, roof, are guided to doctors. Doctors like radiation oncologists. Uh, this is Dr. Christy Owens. And she actually works with women uh, and patients who choose radiation for their therapy, but what are some of the options that having this breast center, kind of all-inclusive place, gives patients? Well, patients, if they have an abnormal mammogram, they will have a biopsy. And depending on what the biopsy shows, if it is a malignancy or even pre-malignant cells, then they will see the breast care navigator who will then schedule their appointments. What is the cutting edge technology that you're using for patients here? Well, if a patient has a biopsy, they, there is a study that they can enroll in. And this study is taking blood samples and we send the blood samples to a company in Texas and it's a, it's a basically tissue banking. And they look at these blood samples, they determine if there are certain chemicals in the blood 
that correlates with a positive biopsy. And information from these kind of studies here are what lead to the reports we do almost every day, like I said, where they're saying researchers have discovered a new way to approach breast cancer treatment. And it's because of prog programs like what's going on right here in our own backyard. Coming up, we're going to talk about the nurse navigator that Dr. Owens just mentioned. Reporting live in Hendersonville, Victoria Dunkel, News 13. A breast center here in the mountains is helping with research to improve treatments for breast cancer. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is streaming live from Hendersonville. Victoria Party's breast center offers even more to patients, though. You know, it's amazing. The whole process here, we were talking about earlier, showing you some of the advances in the technology that is available. We've been sharing how this center is working with different research uh, projects going on across the country that are going to help all women. But it also starts with helping each individual person who comes into this breast center, including people like Jean Steer. Her husband, Bill, is with her here today. You are one of the breast cancer patients here who has gone through this program through the breast center here. What has it been like? Um, it's been I just been wonderful from be the beginning until now. I, I was diagnosed uh, about 18 months ago. Christy Caps, the breast care navigator, just she just took took charge. She uh, she was she was she was a blessing. She navigated us through everything that we needed to know so that we could uh, have a good Christmas the year that I was diagnosed and. Uh, it, this place is incredible. That, she mentioned the nurse navigator, and Melanie, you actually are the supervisor here for the breast center, and you also work with the patients. What does this person's role play, and how crucial is it for women who are diagnosed? It's very important. Um, Christy becomes your new best friend as the nurse navigator here. She takes the patient and guides them completely through the whole process. She's here to answer any questions, any concerns they have. Um, the other part of it is she hosts uh, support groups that meet monthly, and that's been a huge success. And uh, as Jean can yes. testify, yeah. and uh, her services are free to the community, and that's, and that's very just important. part of the full process that is done here. As you can see, it's amazing what we have access to right in our own backyard. And if you want to find out more, we can do a link for you to the Party Breast Center here in Hendersonville. Reporting live, Victoria Dunkel, News 13.